Hello, everyone. First, I would like to apologize for the fact that this is a rather short video. I'm currently running on fumes from maybe five hours of actual sleep, so I'm just getting something out while I'm still functional. I am working on a video going over the standard type battleships in more detail, though. But enough about me. On to the video. Which has an acronym now to avoid overly long titles. On the subject of that title, I'm sure most of my audience has either served in some form of military, has known someone who has, is related to someone who has, or just watches enough videos to get the impression from the outside of what it's like. And that quite often includes very bitter rivalries. Inner service rivalry is generally the big one and the meme that most people who study history are aware of even if it does rarely quite get to the level of assassinating members of the other service because you just hate them that much. That aside, in reading through Carrier Warfare in the Pacific, which is excellent for little stories as most oral histories are, and I can bring out more stories from that if people are interested, I remembered a fun little one here. So, Saratoga and Enterprise. Two-thirds of the surpre surviving pre-war carriers in the United States Navy by the end of World War II. Most people should know the latter because, well, Enterprise vs. Japan, or Battle 360 if you watch the History Channel a decade ago. The former should be familiar to anyone who has watched all of my videos. Perhaps unsurprisingly, there was something of a rivalry between the crews of these two carriers. Granted, most ships in the Navy would have had rivalries between each other, even if it was just about something as simple as who has the better baseball team. The thing about Sarah and Enterprise, though, is that the rivalry could get rather more antagonistic, shall we say? The thing to remember is that both of these ships and crews traded off who was the front line against Japan while the other one was being repaired. That, all on its own, would be enough to set off a bit of a rivalry. I'll send that that happened when it tended to coincide with some pretty heavy fighting, and you get the recipe for conflict when the crews were on shore leave together. That is where our story from the book, told by one Roger Bond, who started aboard Saratoga, comes in. According to him, while rivalries between ships were common and could cause issues during shore leave, the rivalry between Sarah and Enterprise was, and I quote, as bad as that between the Americans and Japanese. That it could get so violent when drinks and angry words got involved, that the crews were intentionally kept apart where possible by command. So yeah, you can see how bad this could get. He goes on to bring up the ping-ponging between the two ships on which was serving as the frontline carrier, and how that caused some bitterness on Saratoga. Now, that's where the story directly related to this ends. Again, short video. An educated guess could be a lot of the bitterness between these crews is directly related to how the war went. Enterprise was the famous ship. The one that got all the attention in the media. Biggie, all stuff like that. It's easy to imagine her crew getting a bit high and mighty about that, which would rub Saratoga's crew wrong, as they did more than their share of heavy lifting with much less attention. I will freely admit to being biased here, as anyone who watched my Saratoga video knows. Bond does, mind you, mention jealousy as one of the reasons for the conflict between the crews, incidentally. On Enterprise's end, meanwhile, one can imagine that the crew got annoyed at Sarah being a quote-unquote pork queen because of her stents back in the States. Who would have known submarine damage is a thing and it can't be patched up like damage to the flight deck? Even so, that is a fairly logical guess to make. But it is just an educated guess, so if you are someone who doesn't care for that and only hard facts, well, if you can find first-hand sources that can show why Enterprise's crew would have been annoyed at Saratoga's, I would love to see them. And that's not me being sarcastic. I would actually really like more reading material, so if you know first-hand sources from Enterprise, please link that. I will read that like crazy. At any rate, that's where I will end the video, because I want to keep my schedule as much as I can, so I'm going to make this short, sweet, and easy to edit. If you would like to see more stories from this book, though, 
I can certainly make more of them. After all, this is only the first page of the chapter on Bond and Saratoga. I could probably make several videos just out of that, leaving entirely aside the rest of the book. For now, I will see you in the next video.